Okay, so we are going to test out my new uh, video card. It's an Asus Tough 3070OC. Um, before I was using a Zotac uh, RTX 2060 amp edition and right now I have the uh, Tough 3070 OC. So as you can see right here, GPU temp. Uh, we also have the GPU usage, the core clock right here. So I gave it a little overclock. Um, plus 100 core and plus 500 on uh, memory. And here's the FPS. Uh, what's something that I've noticed about this card is really it's a fairly cool design when it comes to their cooling for this 3070. I believe it's a little bit cut down version of the 3080 Tough, but sufficient and enough to cool, you know, the GPU. Very rare that you would see this GPU uh, above 65C. Um, playing Resident Evil 3 uh, around 63, 64. Let me show you the settings right here. So here it shows that it is uh, using 12.69 gigabytes of VRAM. As you can see, actually, in the memory based on uh, MSI Afterburner, it only uses around 4.5 gig, 5.6. Sometimes it goes up to 6 gigabytes, but it's very rare. So I just turn off motion blur. And also for the display, HDR is on. I'm actually using an Asus Tough VG278QL1. Um, advertised at 165 hertz refresh rate, but you can overclock it to 170. So let's start playing the game. What I like about this video card is it has enough cooling. Based on reviews, uh, well, technically the 3070 would have a power limit of 220. And this video card specifically has a power limit of around 270. I mean, it's enough. It's cool. Though the, the ROG Strix 3070 has a higher power limit so when it comes to overclocking you can overclock it better you can overclock it higher it has okay. enough and sufficient uh, cooling what the hell is that thing So this is the early part of the game. So if you notice, even though the the the, gen, the usage is, uh, I would say on an average of 97, 99 percent, I am using a uh, Ryzen 5 3600, the non-X. I did not overclock it, it's just straight out of the box performance, uh, planning to get a Ryzen 5 5600 or a 5800X soon, 16 gigs of uh, RAM, 3200 MHz running at CL16, and my motherboard is an ASUS Tough X570 uh, plus Wi-Fi. My power supply is a Thermal Tank Tough Grand Power RGB 650 watts. Uh, I think it's enough. I mean, it can. It can run this video card really well. Uh, 
It's just that I was using two PCIe connectors from the power supply connecting it to the video card and uh, as much as possible. You don't want to daisy chain the PCIe so that you get enough uh, juice going to your video card and stability, I would say, when you start overclocking the card. So that is much better. Hey, you don't you don't have that risk of blowing up and frying your you know any component inside your computer I would post videos uh, playing Control and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider uh, at high settings, it's averaging around 120. I know I have, you know, I would say a little bit of bottleneck when it comes to the CP. I can, you know, try and overclock it to 4.3. Uh, By the way, I'm just using a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo RGB to cool the Ryzen 5 3600. It's doing it, I would say, pretty, pretty decent stock settings if you haven't overclocked it yet. But my real plan... is to really get that 5800X or 5600X and get an AIO cooler. 240mm AIO cooler. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? By the way, my case is a Cooler like Master F. If, if I haven't mentioned it yet, it's a Cooler Master NR six hundred. No thanks. He's all yours. And uh, airflow is quite okay. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service, BCS for short. Are you kidding me? My peripherals for this one. You guys are the ones who caused all this. Using a. Asu stuff. You don't have to trust me. K7 opto mechanical you. keyboard. You come in? Not really a mechanical keyboard. It's this way. Though for the tough gaming, they have the the new version, the K3, which is mechanical. The one I'm using is just opto mechanical, and then I also have an ROG Asus ROG Gladius. Gladius to get your house wired. Head up the street level. Looking into getting to wireless key, key, uh, mouse, keyboard setup, less uh, wire clutter. Oh my god, he almost got me. He almost got me. Alright. Cool, cool. So you wait for them to walk towards you, and when they're near, just blow up the 
red drum right there. To kill all three zombies at the same time. Now for this one, you would want to hit that generator, or I don't know, just to elect electrocute them. So that you can go inside the diner. Get the bullets here. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're just going to wait for this guy to come close to us. And we blow it up. There's a zombie right here. To kill this one. Alright. Lucky. Lucky shot. Got a headshot right here. We need to go inside this room. You need to get the grenade. Not this one. But you need to get the grenade. We're gonna use it later. To drop the first Nemesis battle. So we can get... I believe it's the extended magazine for... The pistol, Jill's pistol. He goes straight here. We get this one. Combine them to get shotgun shells. 937, that's the code that we're going to use later for the scope of this uh, pistol. Make him go there a little bit. Oh! Almost, I almost, God. Should have been more careful. Oh, there's a zombie here. Okay, just dodge right past the zombie. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, let's use this one. And then the code right here is nine three seven. Oh my god. Nine three oh my god. Nine three seven. Okay, hold on. I just need to check on some messages here. Okay, we're good. Four. It's supposed to be for the green herb that I used. Let's go back. I mean, it's cool. That's just like additional couple of seconds, 30 seconds. On your runtime. By the way, for you to get an S hardcore, you need to finish the game at less than an hour and 45 minutes, I believe so. So here we're gonna use the hose. And get this one. So the trick here for the two dogs, you just need for them to wait to be close to you and then you just hit the power generator or power strip, I don't know, or like the power 
something. I don't know what to call that. And you need to have enough bullets here. Because we're going to kill those creepy, creepy spiders. We just need to kill the zombie here first. Alright. Good one. That's a headshot. There's the other zombie right here. Down him. Use the knife. And also, I forgot, uh, for you to get an S, or an S plus, for the run, you need to finish the game with, I believe, um, less than an hour and 45 minutes, and only five saves. You only need to save it five times. Uh, this part is kind of tricky because you need to be careful with those spiders. They're really, really tough. That's why you need to have enough bullets. Get the lockpick here. Oh my god. And we're up. Inside the power plant. <laughs> but this one I like. Oh, yeah. We need to kill those God creepy We need to kill those spiders They're gonna swarm us later So as much as possible uh, Kill every spider that you see uh, for this one we're not gonna kill the spider that goes out here from his lair go inside here and we start shooting again Right there. Ah, I miss. And there's two that's going to pop right here. Oh my god! I miss it. This is really tricky. Uh, oh! Oh, there's another one right here. Oh my god. I hate these spiders. Oh my god! 
fire! Another one! I hate it! Oh, there's another one coming! Oh my god! Oh! Pretty much dead. Then that's it. That's the gameplay. So far, need more practice. <laughs>